Okay, so now we're inside the house and uh, we're going to go down to the basement. Now this array of switches at the back door, this controls the uh, exterior lights for the porch, this controls the light above us, this controls the basement. These all control security lights outside. It's rather stupid. There's way more lighting in this than is necessary. And we're going to come down in the basement. We have multiple lights down here. Please excuse all the junk. We've just moved in. We haven't actually um, got all our stuff put away yet. We're, we're still working on that. Uh, I'm, I'm, this ceiling scares the hell out of me because with all the other electrical issues that are in this house and the fact that I know this guy put this ceiling up, um, I'm very scared of it because I'm very scared of what I'm going to find when I take it down electrically. The ceiling itself is fine, but uh, yeah, electrically this this has me worried. Um, oh, see, there's one electrical thing over here that he's done that I have no idea what the hell this is, but I we didn't notice this during the inspection because it was something here. There is a power line here coming in and going out through the concrete. Oh, let's see. That does not appear to be live anymore, but I have no idea what that is for. Um, the only thing I can think of is that's got to be powering my porch light out front. So I'm going to turn my porch light on and test that again later. With the switch off, there'd be no power there. So, okay. Now we get in here. We have three light switches to turn the lights on in this room. We have this mess here, which is all live. We have this here, which is a phone cable. We have a junction box here, which that's fine. It's, it's capped. There's not a problem. There's a mess of cabling for TV and crap, but that's not really that big of a deal. Uh, this here powers a string of outside lights, or outside sockets, I'm sorry, that run along the back wall of the house. I have a later video that you'll see for that. Um, this was plugged in to this outlet. I unplugged it because this just didn't feel to me to be safe to have wiring just like this and then plugged into an outlet open like that. Also, one of the outlet covers is missing outside. So I have an open junction box here, all live, no cover on it. I have a junction box here I can't get to with ended wires. They're live. Okay, I've got, uh, here's my original sub pump, and it's been replaced with a new modern sub pump. This was the sub pump alarm system, which I don't know if it works or not. Um, <clears throat> I've got more wiring over here, more junction boxes, more electrical boxes. Um, this feeds that uh, line outside <clears throat> box that goes nowhere that's in my next video. Uh, my uh, uh, main ground lead is run to the electrical or to the uh, plumbing here and then runs up and it does eventually make its way up into the attic. Then, uh, let's see, let me go. Well, I gotta go back around this way. Sorry about this. There's, there's a bunch of stuff in the way right now. So now I've got this right here, which I killed the power to. Um, this was live when we moved into the house and this open box in here is still live. So I don't know what he was using this, this uh, for. I was told it was a mini air compressor down here of some kind. Uh, and this was its direct feed, but I did disconnect the wiring for this. Um, that is this wiring over here that's right here that's not connected. Uh, that's where I cut that wiring off. Uh, there's the, the red and the white wire is also in there. Um, so, I believe there's another outlet back. Yeah, there's another outlet here and another power run through the house here. 
So in addition to all of what you would normally have in your house, as far as um, your normal uh, outlets for your bedrooms and your living room and whatnot, we have just a crap load of them down here. Uh, this here, uh, it says doorbell. I'm assuming that's powering the doorbell. Um, then there is a half bath down here which has yet another junction box directly next to a water line. So, and then there's this wiring here, I believe is all from the alarm system. And this is old phone wiring that's not connected to anything anymore. None of the landlines in the house actually work. So I'm not, but I'm not really worried about that. We don't use landlines ourselves so it's not a problem um but uh yeah so this is my electrical nightmare um he's got all these outlets down down here there's another one back in this corner there's another one there i got more lights in the ceiling that aren't currently on uh let's see so, yeah we go there's another one and then there's two more over there there's just so much in this house electrically that is not right. It's, um, it's scary. It really is. Uh, so I've gotten an uh, electrician coming out to give me an estimate for repairing all of this. And I fully expect it to be way more money than I can afford. But uh, let me take you uh, upstairs quickly. And I'm going to show you how many light switches are in this house and how retarded this is. So we have six light switches right here. Okay. So we have two more here. We have three more here. We have two more on the wall here. We have another one here that does nothing. We can't find anything that this turns on or off. Uh, as far as I'm aware, it's not hooked to anything, but I haven't pulled it apart to check it yet. The outlet next to it does work. It does not control the outlet. We have three more switches here by the front door, which not uh, uh, abnormal, but now we have three more over here too. And then all the bedrooms have their own switches. We have your normal outlets around the house. Um, this wiring, I believe, is for the uh antenna that's upstairs i don't think the guy believed in cable tv um and then i don't know what this is uh the house is wired for cable tv though most of it's disconnected or so old it's useless so it's it's uh not in great condition um but uh yeah i'm just astonished with the number of switches and crap and again please excuse the, the mess in the house uh, I haven't refinished these floors yet. I have not finished moving in. I don't have my furniture yet. I uh, still have a lot of work. I've been patching walls and prepping so I can start painting. I want to do that before I refinish my floors. But, uh, have to, have to the walls completely. Yeah, uh, kind of a homeowner's nightmare. Um, one of the switches over next to the door is supposed to control this fan. This fan does not appear to work. Uh, and I can't find wiring going to it upstairs. Though this is close to, if not directly below, that junction box that is the rat's nest. Um, so it's very possible that it's just disconnected. I'm not, not certain yet, but we've more outlets here. And there's just, there's outlets everywhere. There's way more outlets here than, um, what is uh, permitted basically for that 100 amp box, in my opinion. I don't know, maybe somebody else can, can tell me for sure what uh, is allowed or isn't allowed. But So this is my uh, electrical nightmare that I purchased and uh, hopefully I can rectify before it burns itself down.